Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your love reading. We're going to see who's coming towards you now. See what the energy is. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward. And I'll dive deeper into the person you are connecting with. So with that, let's just see what the energy shows here for you, Capricorn. What's the energy here for Capricorn and who's coming towards Capricorn? We're going to pull the overall energy here with the oracles. And then um, I will pull the tarot. And then we'll look at what how you see this person and how they see you. Okay, and we'll clarify. All right so interesting here you got the goddess and the moon the fourth chakra and you have the 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 magician okay so the really strong energy as it pertains to love because i see this as the heart chakra this is love energy here number 38 which is 11 you have 7 11 and 8 uh if you are into numbers here but i feel like right now you're in alignment here Th this card for me is being very connected and I feel like with the magician too you're very connected and in alignment with manifesting love in your life okay we're going to see what comes through for you but here's the magician you're showing up as the magician here so be very careful with your thoughts your feelings Okay, because I do feel this is a powerful time for you to manifest. You also have here, look at that, the sun and the angel of love. So I see a lot of happiness here, uh, Capricorn. So let's see what who's coming towards you. Who's coming towards Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Capricorn? Okay. So you've got the Five of Pentacles, got the Moon card. Interesting because you have the Goddess and the Moon. Oops. For some reason my cards got turned around. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, got the Ace of Cups, the Star card, Strong Aquarius, Strong Pisces, and Cancerian, Seven of Swords, And you have judgment. Bottom of the deck here, you do have lovers, strong Gemini energy. Okay. Some of you may be feeling right now in your love life like something is lacking. Now, some of you, it may feel like you're just not being fulfilled, whether it's a particular person in your life or whether this has to do with just you're not seeing a whole lot of love connections right now okay we'll see what this is about here with this five of pentacles you have the moon card and you also have the star card so you know it's interesting because there's the moon the magician here and i was saying i feel like there's something here in love it may be that you're just not seeing it at this time there with the moon energy, but I feel like there's something here that's aligning for you with this star card. This could be, you know, what you've been hoping for you, what you've been wishing for. So uh, let's see what else comes through. You have the ten of pentacles and you also have here the seven of swords. Now the seven of swords energy This could be somebody that you've been dealing with, somebody maybe that you feel has been avoiding some level of commitment or taking the step towards uh, something long term. Maybe it's marriage, maybe it's commitment. You could feel like somebody's avoiding you as well. But this also can talk about a new strategy. This may be about you having a new strategy and meeting someone here. But what's interesting is you have the Knight of Swords and you also have here Judgment. I feel like there's somebody here from your past with this Knight of Swords energy, but we're going to clarify because it doesn't necessarily mean that this is somebody from your past. This could be you running from a situation that was lacking, but you know, you got the lovers here too. 
So I feel like there's somebody here you may be making a decision about or somebody who's very drawn to you that's coming towards you. So let's see. We have to clarify. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay, so the Eight of Wands. So this tells me what I was feeling here. The energy is shifting. I feel like there's a change in your love life that's manifesting here. It's bringing a new start in love for you. Whether it's a rekindle of love or whether this is somebody new coming into your life. It's bringing a lot of happiness and fulfillment. So the energy is changing. And that's what I said here. Be very careful of your thoughts and feelings right now when it comes to love. Because I do feel that energy is changing. There's a passionate energy of someone coming towards you. Now, this could be somebody from a distance, not everybody, but or someone who's been distant, but it can be just somebody completely new. Tell me more about this moon card. Okay, King of Swords. So some of you, this could be somebody that you don't know, or this could be somebody coming towards you with some sort of truth. Something that they want to say here. I'm going to tell you with the world card here, this is bringing a new beginning, a new chapter in your life. The next card here is uh, the Page of Pentacles. So it feels like an opportunity and love for you. But there's something unknown here that I feel. Now it could just be somebody you don't know. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also picking up Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Strong Aquarius there with the star card. Tell me more about the star card. Why is the star card here, please? Okay, somebody very attracted to you, Capricorn. Yeah, look at that, page of wands. I feel like, hmm, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then you have the three of wands. I feel like there is someone you're coming into alignment here. I'm not too sure who this is though yet. Let's clarify these energies and then we'll see more. Why is the seven of swords here, please? Okay, got the five of cups. This could be also some of you are moving on from a past situation, a past relationship that was very disappointing. This could be someone that you feel just was avoiding commitment, energy, but it also can be this. Let's see why the Knight of Swords is here. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Okay, Four of Wands. Let's get another one. And I want to tell you, I saw your energy. It was on the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles. There's somebody coming towards you. This is someone, you know, it's very interesting here. Somebody I feel who wants to give to this connection. Now, I see this Knight of Swords going towards the Ten of Pentacles. So it feels like whoever's coming towards you, they are looking for something stable and secure. They are looking for something long lasting. Some of you, I could feel, I feel like this is somebody you don't know. Somebody who is unknown to you. Like I said, somebody coming into alignment. There's a lot of energy of movement and travel. This could be somebody that you meet through your travels. I'm going to say here too. It could also, I feel like this could also be somebody you meet through family or their family somehow, okay, if this is a new person. But let's clarify uh, this judgment. Tell me more about judgment. The Sun card and the King of Pentacles. Interesting. Let's pull one more. What else about judgment? And the King of Wands. There's two kings here. 
there's two energies here capricorn interesting three of swords it's very interesting capricorn i feel like there is a new love here that's manifesting in your life i feel there's a situation someone that you were dealing with that wasn't very committed that either avoided commitment or they avoided keeping their promises And then I see here two kings, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. You've got three kings here and the knight. I feel like there's somebody here from your past returning. And that may be too why I'm seeing the six of pentacles. This may also be about you deciding where you're going to put your time and energy. So... If you're single and you're not seeing anyone, there could be somebody here from your past wanting to rekindle things, but I'm also seeing a new energy you're manifesting. And that's why I said be very careful with your thoughts and feelings, because if you want somebody new, focus on, you know, manifesting new. But some of you, maybe there is somebody here that you want to rekindle things with. Could be um, another earth sign or a fire sign or a Leo here. Okay, but this King of Pentacles can also be you. Again, it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Three of Swords and the Hermit. I'm just going to say, if you're in another situation, this could be somebody you're thinking about too. Or a new person coming that could change, you, you know. Hmm. I feel like I want to ask. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. The wheel. Tell me more about this King of Wands. The High Priestess. There's two people here. If you are in this energy of trying to manifest, you want to close out the past. You don't want to be with a past person here. Some of you, this could be a divorce too. I'm just going to say with the judgment. This could be a divorce or someone who just came out of a divorce. But I feel like for some of you, this is someone you're closing out a cycle with somebody here. And you're manifesting a new person. I feel this King of Wands here, somebody from your past, was very secretive. Very secretive energy. And there's another person here I feel that through your experience, through what you learned from this other relationship, there's a new person coming in that's really stable. Okay, And that could be the blessing here with the wheel that... A situation didn't work out because spirit or, you know, whatever you believe in, you're manifesting somebody new, somebody stable, somebody where there's a lot of happiness. But others, I feel like there is a past person coming into your energy. And that's where I feel like they're going to show you effort. They're going to show like they're being giving here. And they may even tell you they want a relationship. But I feel you're going to have a choice here. I'm just going to ask, what else does Capricorn need to know about this situation? Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Six of Wands. And Nine of Swords. Okay. Yeah, see, I feel like you're going to be in your head about this. You're not going to know what to do. But what I heard, what Spirit told me with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, welcome the new opportunity. Okay, be open to it. You can still, you know, uh, be protective. Because right now, Capricorn with the Six of Wands, 
I feel like there is potential for a relationship. This may be somebody that has the same goals or what you're looking for. Remember, said with this Knight of Swords, I feel there's somebody here that um, a new person coming in, but I'm also picking up a past energy here. And see, I see you worried because I feel like you feel, you may feel that it may be risky no matter what you do. Okay. And some of you may have a hard time. You see the, the death rebirth card here. You may have a hard time moving on from a certain individual here, but you, you're going to have a choice because I almost feel unless you're only trying to manifest a new person. I mean, this other person I feel is going to try and contact you. But I feel like Spirit's guiding you in this new direction. So I'm going to see, how do you see this person from the past? Okay, you don't feel like they're honest. This is the trickster energy. I'm just going to ask, this person may not have shown up the new person. Uh, if it did, it's not going to matter. But how will Capricorn feel about this new energy? Okay, this is Frozen Heart. This is someone, this says here, empathy and warmth melt barriers of a true connection. So you will feel a very warm connection with this new person. This is someone um, you could build a good rapport with. This is someone I feel like you're going to believe what they say. And this is somebody who will be responsive. So interesting because I said welcome the, welcome the new opportunity I'm seeing here. How does this past person from the past see Capricorn? Okay, so this is unlock the gate. I don't know if the door will be open, okay, when they show up, basically is what that is saying. So this is someone who's trying to gain the courage to come towards you. They may be seeing you quiet right now. They may be seeing you like a little bit mysterious. How will this new person see Capricorn? Wow. Look at that. Moonlit unity. They're going to see you as somebody that understands them. They're going to see, they're going to feel a very strong emotional connection with you. This is someone I feel they're going to feel a sense of harmony with you. Okay. So interesting, because I have not done that in any of the readings, pulled uh, the energy of how they see you, how they see him for both the past and the new love. I've only done it for the past. So uh, it, it's in alignment with your reading here, Capricorn. So what I'm going to do for those of you who want to know more about this past person returning, I am going to take it to the extended. Now, it may also show new love when I do the four weeks going forward to see what shows up in the next four weeks so link is in the description box and in the comments if you'd like to check it out um, i hope to see you there i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel out